everyone! Good morning! Welcome to another Read the Book session with me. I am Teacher Matet from Escuela de Sofia of Caloocan Incorporated. Before I begin, I want you to think at a time when you had to be brave. For today, the story that I will read is about a little fish who had to be brave. Are you ready? Let's find out about his adventures. The Bravest Fish by Mott Walking Home Far below the waves, a little fish named Stanley lived with his school. They were the brightest, sparkliest fish of the deep, dark sea. One morning, Stanley woke up late. Hello! It's me! He called to his friends, but the reef was strangely quiet. Suddenly, Stanley remembered that today was the day his school swam to cooler waters for the summer. Jumping jellyfish, he groaned. He hurried to the meeting point as fast as his fins could carry him. But no one was there. As he looked around, he saw a bright light. Aha! They haven't gone far, he said, and he raced toward the globe. But it was only a lobster counting coins. Go away! Don't touch my treasure, the lobster growled, snip snapping his claws. I'm looking for my friends, said Stanley. Fish, the lobster grumbled. Those others were in such a hurry to find someone they upset my coins. Others? asked Stanley. My friends, join them then snarled the lobster, and Stanley sped off. Ahead of him, Stanley saw a shimmer. He could just make out a bright, sparkly fish. One of his friends, Hello, it's me, he called swimming faster. Plonk, Stanley crashed headfirst into something hard. Jumping jellyfish, he cried. It wasn't one of his friends at all, but his own reflection in a shiny pearl. Stanley rubbed his bump nose, feeling a little dazed. He didn't notice this dark shape coming up behind him. When he turned around, Stanley found himself staring straight into the mouth of a huge shark. Ah! Stanley shriek. Over coral and under weeds, he sped with the shark snapping at his tail. Finally, Stanley saw a small hole in a rock below. He dived down inside to just be being gobbled up. Deep within the cave, Stanley shivered and shook. He felt sad and lonely. He was beginning to think he'd never see his friends again. Well, I can stay here forever, he said at last. Stanley poked his head out of the cave to see if the shark had left. Jumping jellyfish, he squealed. The sea was golden orange, glowing and glittering. It was the most wonderful sight he had ever seen because there, in front of him, were his friends. Hello, it's me, he called. Stanley, his friends cheered. Where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. 
And Stanley told them his adventures as they swam off in a one bright, sparkly, happy school. The end.